Evolve 12 has an updated interface that's optimized for high-resolution displays. The lighter color scheme and modern fonts are designed to reduce eye strain, making it easier to use for longer sessions. Smart bins make it easier than ever to find media in large projects, because they can display clips based on metadata tags. As new tagged footage is added, it will automatically appear in the right smart bin, so you don't have to spend time manually sorting through shots. You can also add favorite folders to the media page. This makes it faster and easier to access frequently used folders. The new multicam editing tools let you combine clips for different camera angles into a group by selecting them and using the Create Multicam Clip command. Clips can be synced by in or out points, by timecode, or by sound. You can drop a multicam clip into the timeline, press play, and start editing by clicking on the angle you want to see. With Resolve 12, you can now mix your audio in real time by recording fader movement during playback. I've thought about it before, and you know, if somebody actually sat down and You can also add VST and audio unit plugins and adjust their parameters in the inspector or in their custom interface. This can all be done on individual clips or entire tracks. Projects can also be sent to Pro Tools for audio finishing. Simply choose Export to Avid Pro Tools from the menu. This creates an AAF file with all the source audio and a flattened reference video for Pro Tools. Asymmetric and dynamic trimming have also been greatly improved. You can now trim edit points on the same or different tracks so you can trim in different directions at the same time. In addition, Slip and Slide now work on multiple clips at the same time too. DaVinci Resolve 12 also lets you drag and drop files from the Finder right into your timeline. And working with animation is faster and easier with new on-screen controls and motion paths, so you can see exactly how the animation will move. Transitions can now be customized even more. After adding a transition, open the Curve Editor in the timeline, and then add Bezier handles to customize the curve and create your own unique cinematic transitions. Timelines can be nested in DaVinci Resolve 12, which makes it easier to work on large multi-scene projects. They can be decomposed in place or opened in their own window for further editing. Resolve's advanced editing tools help you perform complex tasks, like shortening all of these end credits, faster than ever before. And when you're finished, there are completely new media management tools designed specifically for editorial workflows. You can manage entire projects, individual timelines, or a batch of selected clips and choose to either copy, move, or transcode them. Resolve's Enhanced 3D Tracker makes tracking objects with significant perspective changes incredibly simple. The extreme perspective of the road causes a regular tracker to slide as the cyclist obscures part of the road. Using the 3D Tracker, the results are amazing. It locks on with incredible accuracy. Now, we can color correct our shot without affecting the road. Resolve 12 introduces a spectacular new 3D keyer that's not only fast and simple to use for secondary color correction, but great for compositing as well, like this green screen shot. To key this green screen, we'll select 3D key from the list. Now all we have to do is click and drag to select areas we want to include in the mat. For this shot, we need to invert the mat. You can drag over multiple areas in order to expand the selection. To further refine a selection, the new Clean White and Clean Black finesse adjustments help remove noise from the mat. The 3D keyer also handles spill suppression to remove any remaining green in the foreground shot. With the key complete, we can add a color correction node and use Resolve's new Automatic Shot Match feature to quickly match the foreground shot to the background plate. The top of the shot still shows the green screen rigging. We can use a rectangular power window to mask it out. Since the area is not exactly a rectangle, we'll convert the rectangle into a bezier spline and add points to create the exact shape we need. The camera moves over the duration of our shot, so we can use the new 3D perspective tracker to track our power window into place. That's how easy it is to create a great key, mask, 3D track, and match color using Resolve 12. The new Shot Match feature is designed to help you quickly match and balance shots.
simply select the shots you want to match, and then tell Resolve which shot you want to match them to. This is a super fast and easy way to give you a good starting point for creative grading. With over 80 new features designed for professional editors and colorists, DaVinci Resolve 12 is the world's most advanced nonlinear editing and color grading system.